Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to World Cup Fantasy Football. So I thought I'll make a quick video for you guys. Um, basically what I wanted to do is just show you guys uh, my team so far for round one, see what's going on. And then I'm going to show you guys my World Cup team for round two. Um, now I did say that once round one is over that I'm going to be using the World Cup so I can start adding... Um, these cheap players that actually plays um, so I can check all the teams out so I can see which players are on form and stuff like that and then I'll be able to adjust my team by using the wild card for round two and maybe three I'm not really thinking about round three just yet but um, the main goal is round two and I am thinking to use uh, the bench boost so there's a lot of questions around um, but I already created the live stream video um, yesterday so if you want to check everything out there I think it's like nearly an hour of video uh, me just messing around with the team so have a look into that if you have any player in your mind that you think is going to do well it doesn't matter if it's the cheapest if it's the expensive so just, just let me know if you have any idea of you know adjusting the team that i'm about to show you round two to make my team better like defense wise and everywhere because i am using the bench boost let me know guys i will read that comment it will help me a lot and you will help me a lot you will help other people as well give ideas give some suggestions okay so comment down below so for round one or what a week it has been you know what there's been a lot of downs there's been a lot of downs a lot of people's teams is not really performing we 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 thought of this a lot you know we we messed around with our teams a lot just to make it um you know work for us in the long run it did not work out and a lot of you guys are actually wild card in and, and and why not and you know you don't know though like i i got messy here I gave me zero points he missed the penalty and he could do well he could probably score a hat trick and and so on you know he could win the world cup who knows but i think now that we kind of seen the teams around we've seen what they can do i think we can kind of adjust to get a team that can probably will give you the points now for round one let's have a quick look we got we had i had Cavani. i think a lot of people had Cavani. It was just unlucky. He could have he could have scored a couple, um, but his next fixture, Saudi Arabia, it's amazing. So yeah, like I think he is the one that you should keep. Um, Lukaku saved me. Lukaku literally saved me. He got me twenty points, which I'm so so happy with. I had Coutinho as my captain. My captain. So Coutinho scored at seven points, so he scored a goal. And right in the last minute of the deadline, I changed it to Lukaku. I was actually at work, changed it at lunchtime. And boy, it worked out. I was so happy. So yeah, 20 points from Lukaku saved my team. Um, we still got Sanchez, Rodriguez to play. Rodriguez might be in doubt, so we don't know. Coutinho obviously scored. Um, ben, Handa, um, you know, I, I think I need to get rid of him. He's got me two. And uh, Munier got me in five. And the Russian defender got me six. Kimmich with two. Even though he had a lot of chances, he nearly scored an overhead kick. Lots of free kicks. Um, lots, of, lots of crossings and stuff like that. So there is a chance for him to get a lot of points, but he's just too expensive. Um, and Danilo with two. Um, so yeah, uh, we've got a Nigerian goalkeeper with one. Yeah, it's really... I mean, what else can we expect with four million, right? We have Saudi Arabia with zero. Um, so I still got one, two, three more players to play. So I probably would get around 50. If I can get around 55 and over, I'll, I'll be happy with that. Um, Karazmo with one. I think he might be rotated now with Fernandinho. And Messi with zero. So that was my team. Uh, it's been disappointing. But with Lukaku scoring two goals, helped my team. Like, I still have three more players. So I need to remove, I need to put um, the defender up on up on my team. And that's about it for round one. Let's go to round two. And whatever you're about to see, do not worry. Things are going to change. If you see anything that you don't like and you don't want, just let me know in the comments below and I will adjust to that. So here we go, guys, for round two. This is my wildcard setup for now. If you see any problems, if you, if you want me to change a few players, let me know. I am going to change a few because I don't really like the defense so far. 
um i'm trying to figure out the deadline is so close and i can't figure out i need to like just it's just too difficult right now uh, we don't have too much time uh, in our hands um, but let me quickly go through it I already made a live stream video yesterday talking about some of these players anyway so if you want to watch that go ahead um, so we got um, Cavani um, obviously he's not going to be my captain we're just going to have this Russian player Cherry um, be my captain for now um, so yeah Cavani is going to is going to play um, um, Saudi Arabia a, a, a team that just lost like five nil to to Russia, um, so Cavani is going to be is going to be good for that to score a lot of goals and he should do well. Uh, I still have Lukaku. I am thinking to change Lukaku or Costa to Harry Kane. If I have Harry Kane instead of Costa, then I have a lot of captain options like with with the Russian player one two three four five so yeah uh, because Diogo Costa plays in the same day as Cavani um can't really captain him um but obviously I'm using a bench boost but I still want to captain someone that's going to get me a lot of points Diogo Costa will get me points but I'm scared of his yellow card and maybe his red I can't trust him if you guys want me to bring in Harry Kane instead of Diego Costa or maybe Lukaku let me know in the comments below uh, maybe I need to remove this guy here uh, Peru. I haven't really seen him play. I know that he missed the penalty. Uh, he costs us quite a lot, actually. Six million. If we could just look at some of the prices here, um, it, you know, it is quite expensive player. Um, if you have any other suggestions, please let me know. Uh, we've got um, Ericsson. He's just a, an assist machine plus um, for that day. Let's have a look. So we got the rushing um, player here. When we got the uh, Eurogrind. Um, we got Denmark for Tuesday, um, so we got uh, Ericsson for Tuesday. We got Coutinho for Friday. We got um, uh, Lukaku for Saturday. So basically, these are some of the captains. And getting your captain right is important. And if we can get uh, England, so if we can get Harry Kane, maybe I can have him as well, just in case that none of my captain actually worked. So these are the things that I'm thinking about. Uh, you let me know in the comments below if there's anything that I should do. Uh, I could upgrade this um, Russian um, player. If like, I could actually downgrade this and start upgrading some of these players. Um, I've got Danilo. I'm not really thinking about Danilo. Maybe I should change him to like 5 million or something. And then start upgrading someone else. I think that might be the best. I'm just These are little tinker things that I need to start doing to make it better. Varela. I think... Having a Eurogram player like a defender is a must. I think they've got to keep a clean sheet. Goldin, I really want that guy. Um, I've got this really cheap, um, um, what's it, um, Denmark um, defender against Australia. Australia, look, they, they, their attack was quite poor, actually. Um, the only time that, like, the only, the only way they scored it was from that penalty. Yes, they had some crossings and stuff like that, but I still feel like uh, they don't really have that attacking threat. Um, they kept the ball quite good though. Um, and Guerrero, maybe I don't want this guy. Maybe I don't need him. But they got he's got re and Portugal's got really good um, fixtures. Um, I might need a Spanish player like um, Isco. Maybe downgrading, maybe upgrading this to Isco would be even better. If I can get Isco and Kane and try and downgrade in these defenders, I think I might do that. You know, something like this. Just, I, I don't know, I, I think I need a Spanish player. I, I think I need a Spanish player because they do have really, like, two good fixtures. Um, yes, Diego Costa still got a good chance to do well. Do I really need to go for Kane, though? That's what I'm trying to figure out. That's what I'm trying to think. So I do need your help. Um, oh, my God, where is England in this thing? Because he did score two goals and it looks like he's going to do well. So, I don't know, like, I could just downgrade someone maybe I could just remove Lukaku and then get Diego Costa back and I don't need Isco so these are the things that I'm thinking of there's a lot of thing there's a lot of um decisions that I need to make before the deadline so we've got six minutes see we've got um Calvani we've got Kane maybe I should do this and then maybe get Carrasco or something at least to have something for for Belgium uh, let's have a quick look at when's Belgium so Belgium I do have the Mexican players that's not too bad. Okay, so yeah, I mean, 
these are some of the situations these are some of the things that i'm thinking about you let me know in the comments below what you think i'm still going to make some adjustments guys i'm going to post i'm going to keep updating you guys on my twitter follow me on twitter guys it's going to be in the link in, in it's, it's basically it's going to be in the description there's going to be a link uh, follow me on that that's where i'm going to be updating my team before the deadline as you can see is the uh, what's it i think it's 19 where is oh god what did i press there we go so 19 oh, so it's eight, eight o'clock right so there is a lot of time still anyways guys that's about it thanks for watching i hope you guys enjoy that i'm sorry if i kind of went through this in video quite quick i wanted to give you guys as much as information as possible so you can just if you do see this video just to have some kind of idea what you want to do as well um good luck for round two good luck for the final game for the round one hopefully you get a good score hopefully you get over 50 i think the average is around 35 to 40 something like that um if you can get over that then that's good anyways guys thanks for watching i hope you guys enjoy that if you did come give this video a like come subscribe if you're new show you guys support um let me know in the comments below what you what you think i should do what kind of players i should bring for round two and that's about it guys thanks for watching and enjoy your world cup see ya